This is section 1.1, part 2. Okay. In the first part, we saw um, how to create a, what a linear system is. And so now we want to consider this linear system and see how we can use matrices to represent this linear system. So a matrix provides a compact form for writing and solving this linear system. So consider the system that is given here. You first want to look at what we call a coefficient matrix. A matrix is given in a form where we have a parentheses, okay? and where we're looking at the coefficient matrix, we take the coefficients of the system. So our first row would be 3, 2, negative 1, given from here. Second row would be 3, 2, 1. And then we notice for our third row, we do not have an x1 term and an x3 term. In actuality, we do. We just have the coefficient 0x1, then 2x2, and 0x3. This is our coefficient matrix. Okay. If we want to see the size of this matrix, we do m by n to represent the size, where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. Okay. And so n would be the number of equations, and n's would be the number of unknowns. So for this coefficient matrix, we have a 3 by 3 matrix. When we talk about an augmented matrix, an augmented matrix is the coefficient matrix, and we say augmented with our constant terms. And so we have our um, negative 2, 2, and 6, and we notice the size of this matrix is now a 3 by 4. So if we look at the augmented matrix, we can actually use this to solve the system of equations. So now if we want to solve the system using when it's in its matrix form, we use what we call elementary row operations, sometimes written as EROs. Okay? So when we use, apply these EROs to a system or to a matrix, um, it does not change the value. So the first thing we're going to look at is if we interchange two rows. So if we interchange two rows in our matrix, it does not change the solution to the system. So we notice this is the original system that we saw on the last slide. And so we use this notation here, R2 interchange with R3. And so what do we notice here is that the second and the third row have been interchanged. The next ERO is replacement. We can replace a row with the sum of itself and the multiple of another row. For example, we notice here we have our original augmented matrix. We want to change R2, row 2, into negative 1 times row 1 plus row 2. We notice here that our first two rows will, I mean, excuse me, our first and last row will remain unchanged. But now let's apply this elementary row operation of replacement. If we do negative 1 times 3, which will give us negative 3 plus 3, we get 0. If we do negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, plus 2 gives us 0. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1, plus 1 gives us a positive 2. We do the same way, and we get 4 for our constant term. Our last ERO is that we can multiply a row by a non-zero scalar. For example, here, again, we see we have our original augmented matrix. Now we want to change row 3 by multiplying 1 half times row 3. So, of course, 0 times 1 half is 0. 0 times 2 is 1. I mean, excuse me, 0 times 1 half times 2 is 1. 1 half times 0 is 0 and 1 half times 6 is 3. And again, we notice that the first two rows are again unchanged. So, we can actually apply several EROs to one matrix. So it just doesn't have to be one, we can do several steps to get to a new matrix. And when we do this, we say that two matrices are row equivalent if the EROs have been done, performed on one matrix to obtain the other. 
we use this here, a tilde, to say that these two matrices are equivalent to each other. So two row equivalent matrices now have the same solution. So remember that we got this matrix from a system of equations. We can now write, since these are row equivalent, this matrix as, um, as a uh, system of equations. We notice that this column represents x1, this column represents x2, and this column represents x3. So if we were to write this, we notice that here x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3, we would have x1 is equal to negative 2. Likewise, we'll have x2 is equal to 3, and we'll have x3 is equal to 2. And so we notice that if we can get our original matrix um, simplified by using EROs to a form that looks like this here, then we can easily solve this system.